Hello everyone and in continuation of our previous video um, today we will see how we can use parameters inside a stored procedure right so previously we have seen how we can create a stored procedure so now we will create a procedure with parameters right because most of the time we will be requiring parameters right the procedure will not be simple most of the time right so we will create a procedure with parameters right now let's also understand how views are different from stored procedures so views is somehow similar to procedures but um, there are particular set of things which is different inside views for example inside views we cannot use parameters right right and we can also can we can also not use conditional statements right but inside a procedure we can use parameters we can also use conditional statement like if else right so let's remove these lines and let's get into the procedure and I'll be creating a procedure by choosing this option and I can name this detailed Detail data right and the parameters I will choose few parameters right now and let's add one more parameter and this I n basically is input right and I need to give the name of this particular parameter I can select the option in and then I can give the name so just using this parameter one right and after that I need to select the type so type is integer and the length will be 11 so this is how I can give the parameters and I wanted to give another parameter so what I will do parameter 2 and this is also a integer and the length is 11 so right now we need to give the definition right so what we can do we can choose this table a, a comment and we will choose few columns right so after choosing the column what I need to do basically I need to use this particular parameter which we have created right so I need to use this and how I can do that where vehicle ID is equal to the parameter name column 1 right so right now I'm using this parameter name here so uh, in MariaDB right we can use this parameter name directly but in few of the database we need to use at the rate to use the variable name so right now it is fine I can use this option and then I can also add other condition if required so let's not use other condition let's check this one first and let's also remove the second parameter and this is complete the definition is complete and I can hit this go button right and if I will go inside my procedures I can see this procedure detailed vehicle data right and if I click on this execute it is asking me for the parameter what I can pass here let's pass to here and let's click on go so th this is the desired output right this is a vehicle ID right I have added the condition for vehicle ID and it is giving me the filtered data and if I wanted to use the query instead of this directly option so what I can do I can go inside my SQL and I can pass this parameter one and after setting this at the rate do basically in the background in the query 
it is working like this only we are um, passing the value by using the at the rate and we are create setting the value of this po as one and after that we are calling this stored procedure by passing the value inside this particular brackets so if i click on go then i will get all the desired output where vehicle id is one so this is how we can use a stored procedure which is having parameters right and thanks a lot everyone see you in next video thank you please do like share and comment and for queries and contact you can see the description box thank you